Well, before we start racing on day two, I thought I'd check in with one of the judges here at the Women's Championship. Um, Don, you're here for the entire championship doing umpiring and then chief judging for the co-eds, but uh, what have you seen so far uh, here at the semifinals and the finals? What are, what are the judges out there looking for and what have you seen from the competitors? Oh, uh, the what we've seen so far is the competitors are doing a really good job at this regatta. The sailing has just been really, really good. Um, our purpose here is to, uh, first of all, as the judges do adjudicate any incidents that happen in the water, if there's a protest situation, then we're the ones that are responsible for deciding what happened and if anybody gets penalized. But the other function that we're here for is to watch for um, uh, violations of Rule 42, which is the kinetics rule in sailing, and uh, that's why we're out there is to try to keep everybody on a, on a level playing field and make sure everybody's sailing by the rules. So for, for the lay people out there, kinetics is things like rocking, pumping, right, reaching. Right, if, there's, if the wind is really, really light, there are ways to make a sailboat go through the water um, by rocking the boat, by uh, ooching the boat, by pumping the sails. And those things are illegal to do under the rules of sailing. You're not supposed to, you're only supposed to use the effect of the wind and the water on the sails in the boat to make the boat go forward. And so you can um, stand up, um, sheet the main sheet in, stand up and, and rock the boat really hard back and forth and the boat will propel itself through the water. And according to the sailing rules, the racing rules of sailing, that's illegal. Now, college rules are just a little bit different, right? They, they've made it just a little bit more athletic. You can get away with a little bit more, but that must be even more complicated for judges. Can you explain how college differs from other forms of racing? Actually, the college rules don't, don't make it more complicated. They make our job a little bit easier because they have a better, they have a different definition of the roll tack rule. Um, when you tack a boat, particularly in light air, and you rock it uh, to complete your tack, it's legal to do that because you're sailing the boat and you're trimming the sails. But sometimes when you do that, the boat will accelerate. And under the normal rules of sailing, that is illegal. But the college sailors years ago um, have decided that, that they don't want to penalize that. They don't want to penalize good boat handling. And so they've changed the definition of the roll tack rule so that it's a, it's a physical change of the boat from bringing the sail down to bringing it back up to vertical. And as long as they don't bring the sail past vertical when they complete their tack, it's okay for them to, to uh, scooch out a little bit or to sprint out a little bit. And, and that makes that tack legal. And that makes our job easier because we don't have to watch for uh, the acceleration. The other thing they have is they have an allowance for uh, something called ooching, which is uh, when you bump the boat forward. The, usually the crew member will, will be in the middle of the boat and they'll push their body weight forward. And the purpose of that is to help push the boat into a wave to help it to surf. And uh, sailing, uh, in college sailing, they allow ooching, um, which is the only, the only sailing uh, uh, venue that, that allows ooching is college sailing, um, but it's only for surfing and planing. So how have the sail, we've had some light breeze, how have the sailors done so far, how many penalties have you, um, have you given and, and how has that process gone? Uh, the sailors have done really, really well. Like I said before, they're, they're sailing the boats really, really well. We had, I think, three uh, kinetics penalties in the semifinals and uh, we had two yesterday um, in the light air uh, downwind. Both of the penalties were downwind and it was uh, for, um, for rocking the boat or rolling the boat too aggressive in their jibes and, uh, and causing the boat to be propelled forward. Okay, well we're getting ready to hit the water for the first race today. Um, thanks for being here and keeping them clean and good luck. Well thanks for having me Chris and uh, we're looking for another great day out there.